when you're playing the piano, what you're playing in your right hand is only one-third of the problem. And I know what you're thinking. Well, I only have two hands. So one hand is 50% and the other hand should be the other 50%. I would say what you're playing in your right hand is one-third. What you're playing in your left hand is another third. And how the two hands interact together, how they inform each other, and how they make the other hand sound is the other third. When you have a lot of changes, uh, if you relegate the changes to your left hand, then your right hand can be pretty free over it. He plays a C-sharp diminished chord there, and he plays that in his right hand. You know, that, that's not quantifiable, that doesn't add up. And it's because the left hand is keeping the time, and the right hand is playing melodies over it. And it's going to line up eventually anyways, but it's not about each hand always being in the same place at all times. Or what if the left hand played this, something a little more, something a little more jumpy, a little more bouncy. What would that sound like with the line? As opposed to this. It's a whole different line totally changes the character.